Taekwani, Taekwani has it under control. Charge cut it on the inside. Puts a man to the goal. And this should be a goal in the back of the net. Amateur competitive sports may return soon to the Federation if the cabinet considers proposals from the COVID-19 task force. Head of the task force, Abdia Samuel, in the latest NEOC press briefing, said that they would have met with the St. Kitts and Nevis Football Association to discuss the vaccination developments among the players and clubs, which is a determinant factor in the resumption of the sport. One such sporting entities yesterday that we, we, we spoke with was with the St. Kitts and Nevis Football Association. And I must report to you that we were quite pleased in terms of the grassroots, the, the grassroots league, the youth league, as well as the female team. Uh, I think the female, uh, they, they must be commended where they have reached a threshold of over 60, 65 percent of them being fully vaccinated. We know that they have gone overseas and we have given them their support, their su the necessary support. Uh, they have gone overseas to represent the Federation and they have been doing well and we must commend them and we will continue to support them and we are hopeful that we can get them playing football in a competitive manner uh, very soon. My understanding is that uh, they, they should be practicing, uh, however, the competitive part of it uh, very soon, we should have uh, that in order for them. The youth, youth league and the grassroots league, we are satisfied by uh, what has been presented. Uh, we are hopeful that as soon as we take this to cabinet, we can have a favorable outcome. While the vaccination level for both the women's team and youth players are satisfactory, that for the senior men's players for domestic football is still not at the required level. Mr. Samuel said a recommendation will be made to cabinet for the reduction of the vaccination threshold. I all agreed that we will do our best to facilitate the resumption of the senior league as soon as possible. Uh, they, we are not here to impede or try to stop the league from starting. That is not our focus. Our focus has always been how we can resume all sectors in a safe manner. So I want that to put that out there. Uh, the president uh, would have bring a delegation of himself and two other persons to uh, present to the task force and we were rather satisfied with what has been presented. They have been given some guidance for them to go and do some, other, some more work. In a previous presentation, Chief of Staff at the JNF Hospital, Dr. Cameron Wilkinson, had proposed a 70% vaccination threshold for clubs and of the larger domestic player contingent before football could resume. But former Chief Medical Officer Dr. Patrick Martin believes this threshold does not make much sense. I think this 70% um, stuff should be abandoned with a, with a variant as transmissible as Omicron. What is 70%? All you take is one person to start an outbreak. Having said that, sports people uh, tend to be on the younger spectrum of society. People like yourself, Andre, um, relatively fit. Let's put those factors on the table. Uh, are we specifying a similar level of vaccination uh, or, or immunity for teachers, for nurses, for doctors? Children under the age of 12 uh, are not yet candidates for the vaccine we have scheduled. Or what about that? So I think I, I, uh, prudence is required in, 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 in some of the statements and measures to, 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 to make sure that... Um, Things that are consistent and make sense. Domestic football has been suspended in St. Kitts and Nevis since May of last year after the start of the second wave of COVID-19. I'm Andre Huey for SKN Newsline.